What's up everybody, and welcome to my second The City of Final Fantasy Arcade commentary video. Tonight, I'm going to be following the legend, the failed experiment, the man who surpassed first class soldier himself, Cloud Strife. But before I get to that video, I just want to do a little housekeeping. First on the agenda is I want to thank you guys for all the feedback that you've given me, the constructive criticism, the thanking me for putting out the content. I'm more than happy to do it. I love the game and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I know a lot of you guys feel the same way. Uh, I want to thank Havoc101 specifically because he cleared up uh, some of my misconceptions and um, vague description of heavy class characters. I mentioned that they move slower and they generally do more damage uh, per combo than speed and shoot characters, but an even bigger deal than that is the fact that they cover more ground on their individual attacks. So. Um, you know, they move farther from point A to point B when maybe swinging their sword if you're Cloud, and then they might even do that, have that large movement space more than once per attack, and they generally do big, wide swings that have a high chance of connecting and maybe even hitting more than one opponent. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's hop right in. Alright, uh, Cloud's team, you got Vaughn, the HP spam, and Ramza, the great support, the enemy team has Cecil, Zidane, and Onion Knight. And I want to focus on Cecil real quick because I can see that he's using his Dark Flame attack, which has pretty good tracking, and it's a, it rises off the ground for HP. Um, plus it regenerates his Brave on hit. That's pretty dangerous. And uh, close range, you know, I always like to keep an eye on Cecil. Aside from that, because he has his Brave attack, Dark Side, that's kind of like a, a mid-range snipe attack that comes out pretty quick. Right, the fight is on, and right from the beginning, uh, everyone is just throwing pot shots at each other. No one's really committing to anything too far, trying not to get, be the first one to get caught. Rams is using Ultima, Cloud's using, uh, looks like Finishing Touch and Blade Beam. And you've got, uh, you see Vaughn in the background shooting his fire spell, I'm not sure what it's called. But, um... Yeah, that's the game plan, you know, no one's too keen on being the first ones to draw blood, but it looks like one of Cloud's teammates was able to land an HP attack on Zidane. And that, oh, they're all conglomerating in one space, and I think that's going to be how this fight really gets going. And there it is. Uh, he goes in for Onion Knight, he guards, same deal. He's got, a, he's got a character behind him, and he noticed it. He just went right behind there and got that Onion Knight that was uh, locked into his attack animation. I just, I, I'm just not sure what the risk reward is in this game, and, um, and and when is really safe to throw out an attack, because he wasn't too close to him, but you know they have the radar now, and Cloud could see him back there, so all he had to do was turn around and get his damage. And uh, the blue team is just dominating at this point. Um, and it could be because of things like I just mentioned with um, Onion Knight throwing out attacks when maybe he should not be doing so just yet. And there, Cloud activated his Limit Break and his Mighty Strike, and he's even got the cheer buff from Ramzek, so now is really the time to go in. Oh, that has no knockback! He was able to cleanly chain that crawl slash. That's amazing. So, one stock down, and let's go. God, Cecil not paying attention. Gonna do a little bit of chase down. She around the field seems to be really helping out. Um, and it looks like she at least landed her attack on on Cecil. Brought his brave down pretty low. Well, that was pretty neat, seeing um, Onion Knight get carried in the air on that finishing touch. Everyone is all in the same area right now, so it's 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 anyone's game if they can if they can break away with some damage. Oh, see there is uh, Ramza got caught in the back by by Dark Flame from Cecil, and there Cloud goes again with his uh, limit break and Mighty Strike. I don't know what Zidane was doing; he was just flying away. And Cloud got punished. I don't. I don't think it was worth the damage, even though Zidane was clearly not paying attention. Maybe an HP attack and a kill would have made it more worth it. Our red team is trying to get their summon in. Oh my goodness, that would have been uh, his life. But uh, Bond's HP attack connected first, and wow, that's amazing. 
If you didn't catch that, Zidane was uh, in the corner charging the summon, and Klaus started dashing like he was going towards him, and then just turned around and did his uh, his HP attack. I'm sure Onion Knight thought that Cloud was disengaging. He thought he was leaving, but no, he just, he, it was a feint. He made like he was dashing for Zidane. Hard stop, turn around, and use his HP attack, and because he's heavy class, he had that big lunge. And that was, that was another close call. That could have been the game right there if he had connected with Cecil. But it does not even matter because it looks like Ramza took care of it for him on Zidane. That was, that was pretty explosive. Once, once Blue Team got the lead and summoned Shiva, it just really started to snowball hard. Um, I know that the Red Team wanted to bring it back, but it seems like... Uh, they were trying too hard to get their summon because uh, they paid for it twice. They, they lost two lives uh, on, on attempting to build. They lost almost a whole life bar and a stock off attempting to summon. And it just seems to me that the entire red team didn't have good awareness. Uh, there was a lot of people getting hit in the back and not having gained anything before that. Like the one time that uh, Cloud got really nailed in the end lag of one of his moves. He had at least just given Zidane some good damage, but time and time again, the red team um, they just got caught in the back, not paying attention, didn't know what was going on. Anyway, moving on to the last match on this video. Um, something that this red team wants to really be concerned about is Terra. Terra down there is one of the best combo characters in the game. Team combos, I mean. She's got Fire, she's got Holy, she's got Blizzara, and I think she's I think it's Thundaga. Um, the quick charge versions of these moves, like uh, if she doesn't attack for a few seconds, her moves power up. But the weak versions of her move will all hold the opponent in place for anywhere from like 2 to 4 seconds. And she's a long range fighter. If she's holding someone in place for 4 seconds, that's more than enough time for someone to follow up with a brave attack of their own or land a uh, uh, HP attack. You see, um, Terra starting off with her long range. And once again, you've got both teams uh, just occupying a side of the field and, and playing it safe until it's really time to get in there. Um, you got to be worried about Kane. Uh, you don't want to lose stocks early in a fight against an enemy Kane because after 115 seconds goes by, he can get jump three. Jump three is an instant teleport above your head, and it does become an HP attack. Oh. That was, that was very smart. Terra did not do the last hit of her Thundaga because she was trying to hold him in place for uh, for Cloud to get damage. And now Bart's is going after her and Cloud's going to want to stay near her. Because Bart's going to overwhelm her. She can't defend herself well. Um, but I'm not going to be surprised if I see, you know, Terra using one of her multi-hitting more than two hit moves like Fyra to hold someone in place for Cloud next time. Or you know, maybe even Ramza as well. Um, Kane is the only person right now with any significant damage, and uh, I would expect that it, it, would, it, would, it would be somebody else. I think he'd be doing a little bit better. Bart's is in the corner, and he dodged too early. That is Cloud's best trait, his ability to charge his moves or cancel the charge of his moves. You just never know exactly which one's going to do it. It's a 50-50 chance. You guess right or you don't. And uh, Bart's got under that wall rush, tried to get out of the way too early, and Cloud just continued to charge that cross slash and took him out. At the same time, apparently, uh, Kane got taken out. I missed it. Uh, maybe you guys didn't. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was on screen. But, um, that was, that was two in a row. But now, uh, Cloud's got to deal with Shiva on the screen. He's broken right now. He was able to get some, uh, Brave back. But they're, they're still in a pretty good space. I mean, they, they could just run and defend themselves until Shiva is gone and then try to reset the match and, and do what they got to do. Uh, I saw Terra down there in her trance mood, uh, with all her stat buffs all around. It would be a good time for uh, her to try to catch somebody in a combo and have one of her teammates finish them off. Yeah, Kane just cannot get in. He wanted to come get Cloud, and uh, Squall just walked up. I mean, I'm sorry, Ramza just walked up and, and popped him in the side. Hit. You cut that out. Oh. Uh, see, that's exactly what I was talking about. That fire just hit about six times, and then Cloud was able to chain some extra damage onto it. His brave had been higher, he would have used an HP attack, but he was like, you know what? Let me just do some quick damage and get out of the way. No need to uh, put the fight in jeopardy. And that's how you summon. Uh, you, all, you all go at it at the same time and get that instant summon. 
uh, like I was saying in the last fight, you had individual people trying to summon and the teammates not catching on to it, and they lost two lives because of it. And so now, um, the red team is fighting an unimaginably uphill battle. I saw GBL's team turn around the battle in an instant in my last video, but, uh, these guys aren't Gil. And there was Rams that looked like he got him with triple break. Yup. And that is the fight. Uh, I just think, I think in general, that this Cloud, Terra, and Ramza was a good team formation. And I think that contributed a lot to their win. Um, Terra was playing very smart, she was holding people in place, and uh, you know, Ramza made sure that he kept himself buffed, so he could, he could fulfill the same role as Cloud, you know, whichever way Terra was looking, looking, one of them was there to, to follow up and do, try to get in team attacks. So that's that video. Again, the player is STB. I don't know if I mentioned that before. His channel will be in the description. So like, comment, subscribe. Please tell your friends. And as always, leave me any any criticism or tips that you want. I'm trying to get better here, and I'm doing this for you guys. So thank you, and have a good night.